out on our first little morel hunt, shed hunt, and we found the first actual morel of the year. It's a, not a big one, but it's a good sign. This is where they usually start, and then they start working their way down towards easier country. So we went up real high and found the first one. So hopefully they start moving their way down. But yeah, he spotted it as I walked by it. And we're looking for sheds too. So but yeah, it's pretty cool. First one of the year, let's take that one and start getting some more. Add another pile. That's a nice one, actually. Good size for, for frying. Really solid too. So yeah, we're gonna keep going down this hilltop. See if we can find some more, maybe some sheds on the way. Moved down a couple hundred yards in the last spot. They're pretty spotty right now. I think they are just starting to come up. It's a little bit early for when we usually would go. But yeah, here's two more. One right there, and my brother found that one. And I was walking over to check it out, and I found this one right here that you couldn't see from where he was at. So yeah, we got two more to add to the pile for the day. They're not big at all, but pretty cool finds they're gonna taste good can't wait to get I don't know we're gonna get a handful it's just the two of us so we're gonna keep finding them hopefully and maybe sheds like I said as we go we pulled the old double find again he's getting our pack right now to put him in but he walked over that log and spotted what looked to be a really big one but it's two good sized ones right next to each other down in there and I went over to look at them from the top side, and I see a group of three over here. This one has the top taken off. Almost like something took a bite out of it, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, three right there, two right there he's going to pick up. We're going to snip them off and add them to the pile. It's cool. We're finally getting into some. Feels like I'm shed hunting, I guess. We're finding something, so it's in a really cool, nice spot up here. So we're gonna keep walking around and keep digging up. Oh my gosh, as, I, as I'm talking. No one, I just found a whole bunch right here on the video. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to cut it off and there's one, two, four right there. Those are better sized ones too. So that was cool, that was absolutely unexpected. I did not know I was gonna walk into those. So I, I'm actually gonna shut it off now and cut the ones we found and keep moving down. We got lots of places to go. Hopefully we can get at least a gallon or two. So yeah, should be a good day. It's nice, perfect weather for walking, just in a t-shirt. So, can't get too much better than that. We're gonna go find some more, maybe pick up a shed still. That's our goal, shed and a mushroom on the same day. Well, just after we found those four, that big cluster, look down, there's another one hidden in the brush. These things are definitely something to keep your eyesight and check because if you can find morels you're pretty good especially in these high country mountains like this when you got all these pine cones on the ground and brush and sticks like that as far as the eye can see what no we found three more dang it actually not dang it that's good we're just gonna lose track of them because we keep finding too many to pick up yeah these are three small ones but still that's pretty cool, right next to some animals scratching on the ground. And we're gonna keep filling our bag and keep on moving through this hillside before we keep going down. That is awesome. How many more did you find? Two down the hill. Just filled up the bag with the last ones I just got on video, where are they? Oh yes, I have my side. Nice. Let's get those popped off real quick and I'll do a quick circle. There's our backpacks just right there where we found the first one. They've all been on this little knob right here. And we usually find them towards the bottom, but we always start up here at the top. It's about as hard of a hike as you can get to get up here. The steepest high country. Almost not even worth the climb. It wears you out, but it's fun to do. So yeah, like I said, I think we might start moving down off of this because we've been looking around for quite a while and haven't found too much more. But we got a pretty good bag going. About a quarter to a fifth of a five or one gallon bag. It's pretty good. It's enough for us to eat at least. We could eat a lot of these though. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said, we're gonna keep going. See what else we can find. 
just came off the mountain that we were just finding the mushrooms on and stumbled upon these three. I'm gonna go try to find some more. We came down over those logs and he found one right there and I kept walking just to wait for him to pick it up. Found a cluster there, a couple there, and one single down there. I found nine and we were kind of excited because he spotted one. I accidentally walked into the rest of them. But yeah, there's yeah, six right there, two up there by him, and then one more down here. As far as I know, there could be more. I haven't looked any farther down. So yeah, nine, I think, yeah, nine in one spot, plus his, so that's 10. And we've been kind of on a dry spell for a few minutes, so that was cool to run into something. Yeah, 10 in one spot, and that's a pretty good little stumble on right there. We'll keep going down, like I said. Keep picking them up, hopefully. I just walked down from where I found that cluster of nine. He was picking them up for me, so I could keep going down the trail and looking. He found three or four more after I left. And I came around this corner, and I got a cluster of five. Yeah, five, it looks like. No, wait a second. There's one I missed, six. So yeah, six more in that cluster, and these are decent sized ones. There's one small one with them, which we'll probably leave. But yeah, so, and this is another really nice one. Really cool. But okay, that's another good hillside we stumbled into. Why can't the sheds come out like the mushrooms do? This is good country to find an antler, you'd think. It's steep, it's hard. It goes straight down over that side to where we're parked. And we have, took us two and a half hours to hike up here. No roads in the way, no four wheeler trails, nothing but mountain, untouched. But we got in the mushrooms really good. So, we'll fill our bag with these and see how close we're getting to the gallon mark. And that'll determine how much more we need to pick up before we can call it a successful trip. It's successful anyways, but just cool to fill that whole bag up. Well, we came around the corner and I was walking over there he was walking right up here and he spotted the biggest morel of our trip so far. It's right there behind that bush. It's a big one, for here at least. Not huge, huge by any means, but look at that thing. It's a big one. It's the biggest one of the trip and it's in perfect shape. That's a good way to wrap it off if we don't find any more because we're kind of working our way out of the area. So if we don't find any more, that was an excellent end to it. Yeah, we're gonna keep trying like always. And uh, our bag's almost full, so that's good. There it is, almost to the top. That's a lot we got. So we'll keep heading. We're going up and down through all these rolls in the hills, trying to make it back. You never know what we will run into. So we're gonna keep on going. Well, I think this is gonna be our last finds for the day. We're almost back to where we started. We just have one heck of a drop to go over, but we're close and we didn't find any on the way up. So this is most likely gonna be our last finds just because it's at the right level still. But I walked down that way. He spotted this group of three and then he spotted that one. And I came up to him to look at them and I spotted two right there. I looked way up the trail and I spotted the last one. This is this big one, and then right back there in the trees, I just walked by it. There's a little one. So yeah, that's quite a few in one spot. Anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. Found a lot of mushrooms. We got our gallon bag full all the way to the top. So that was pretty cool. And yeah, this last little score right here will really top us off. We might even have to start a new bag for it. But it's a pretty good day. No sheds, which sucks. But just being in this cool spot and finding something makes it worse. At least we didn't go home empty handed and got some good eatings on the way. So we're just gonna get these out and then uh, put them in the bags. I think we have like, what, 10 right here. I think I counted. I might be a little off. But about 10 in the spot we're gonna pick up and add to the bag and then head right down to the creek where we started and it'll be a good end of the day. Nice little score right before the end. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. 
maybe some more mushroom hunting. I don't know when the next time it'll be. Probably in a week or two, depending on what time we get out. And maybe some more shed hunting. We're always looking. Never know. And then fishing. So, a lot of cool things going to happen here soon. So, yeah. It's pretty fun. Good finds. We'll head down and call it a day. Thanks for watching.